welcome everyone. Give everybody a chance to get into our Zoom meeting before we start the webinar. You are here for the Activating Your Biology Teaching with EKG Experiments. I'll be introducing you to your presenter, John Melville, here in a moment. Uh, but first, I wanted to go over some housekeeping items um, just to let you know that we are going to be providing some uh, resources for you. So uh, in a few minutes, I will include a link to a shared Google folder that includes some um, sample data and experiment details uh, that you can access at any time. Uh, we would love to answer your questions throughout the session today. Feel free to use the chat feature or the Q&A. We'll be monitoring both of those. If we happen to not get to your question, uh, we will follow up with you uh, afterwards, but we will do our best to try to answer everyone's question during the session today. Um, I'll also be uh, sharing a link where you can find the recording. So we are recording this webinar, so you can access it later on our website. And towards the end of the session, I'll include that link in the chat. So I will go over the agenda items now. So if, Melville, if you could put that up on the screen, that would be awesome. Thank you a bit. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so today's agenda is uh, we're going to cover meeting your presenter. So John's going to introduce himself in a moment. Uh, we're going to be doing the monitoring EKG experiment. So we'll be doing an introduction to that. Um, he'll also be going over some options that you have, depending on what type of learning environment you're in, um, whether it's remote, um, a hybrid or in person classrooms. Um, we'll do a hands on demonstration uh, using our graphical analysis pro app, and then there'll be time for Q&A as well. So I'm going to hand it over to John. Hello. So um, my name is John Melville. Um, I got my BA in biology and a BA in psychology at Sonoma State University. I have a PhD in zoology from Oregon State University. Um, I did postdoctoral research um, at the University of Oregon, but most importantly, I'm a former college professor. I was an associate professor of biology um, at Wartburg College. Um, where I taught both majors and non-majors courses in biology and neuroscience. And my key focus has always been on uh, active learning styles with an emphasis on data collection inquiry. Um, and so I've, I've been doing data collection for a long time. I've been at Vernier for over 10 years. And I just wanted to show you some of our new features that are in Graphical Analysis Pro and to talk a little bit about our new sensor, um, uh, the GoDirect EKG sensor. Now, you can ask all of your questions in the Q&A field. Um, Angie will uh, relay, relay those to me. Um, someone will, Angie will probably be answering those also as we go. And if time's, time allows, I'll discuss questions at the end of the talk. You may want to go and find graphical analysis right now. If you don't already have it installed, you can find it on your device. If you're, got, if you're using a phone, you would need to go to your relevant app store to get that or you can go to our website, www.vernier.com, and you can download graphical analysis for um, Mac and PC. Um, and you don't need a sensor or anything for this demo. It's just one of those things we wanna make sure that you get a hold of it. Um, and we're, cause we're going to give you an access code to be able to use GA Pro. So you're gonna be able to see some of the things that I'm about to show you now. So, the first thing that I wanted to do is just introduce um, the GoDirect EKG sensor and an experiment where we look at EKGs. And then I'm going to show you the Vernier Graphical Analysis Pro app. So we're going to be wor working with the GoDirect EKG sensor, and then um, I'm, we're going to be collecting data. So just to remind you, Vernier software um, is for teachers by teachers. I like to say that all the time. Everyone in tech support, um, almost everyone in tech support is a former teacher. Um, I will do an, uh, a Vernier Graphical Analysis Pro live demo. And I just want to focus on the fact that this is, we're going to be using the GoDirect EKG sensor. That's this little device here. Um, you can use that to compare and measure students' electrocardiograms. Um, there's a channel for looking at heart rate. And it can also be used for looking at EMG and could even be used with a hand dynamometer if you wanted to look at EMG and grip strength. And I can show you how to set all of those things up. There are special channels that you can set up 
in GA. So with that, I just wanted to focus on, there's the, one of the really cool things about Graphical Analysis Pro is that you can collect data and share data in three key ways. If you look on this um, slide deck here, one of the first things that we're probably all used to is what we call in-person learning. And so the educator would model how to collect the data and then the student would be collecting it in the lab. And I'm just gonna focus on that first. We're just gonna do classic standard data collection, introduce you to the EKG sensor, show you how it works, and then move to the other two really cool ways of collecting data. So with that, let's just go to the live demo. Here is graphical analysis. I have um, installed it and launched it. And then I just want to show you what I have right here is this is the GoDirect EKG sensor. Um, now, one of the, we call it Go Direct because it has a USB port. It has a USB port and it can be used via Bluetooth. And if you use it via the USB cable, you just plug it in, it automatically identifies itself and you are ready to collect data. So, I mean, it should be as simple as that. You should be able to then begin to collect data. The GoDirect EKG sensor right here also has a little graph on it that shows you how to collect the electrodes. I already have some electrodes attached to myself. Um, I'll, actually, let me show you on the other camera right here. So you can see I've got one on my left arm, one on my right arm. I also have the standard electrodes that come with the EKG sensor. sensor. These are these tab electrodes. But I wanted to show you that it doesn't matter which ones you have. If you have access to these uh, tabs with the metal tab, they'll work fine too. So it isn't specific which ones you get. Um, but they do come with a set of these electrodes, which works pretty nice. I like to put the ground electrode on my wrist, but the instructions also have you put it on the forearm. It, it really isn't going to matter as long as you are placing the electrodes across the body axis. So that's why I like to use the wrist or the arm. So let's just get started. I'm going to connect my EKG tabs to the electrode leads. So red goes to left, green goes to right, black goes to reference. And then I'm gonna to have to sit quietly here and hit the collect button and we'll see how it looks. Do it one more time. There. So that, that first little shift up and down was probably for me having to move around. I'm, I don't have an assistant here to help me collect data. But you can see there's a nice EKG trace. Um, here's the QRS complex. You can see the P wave, you can see T waves. And you, know, you can use graphical analysis to highlight a region zoom in and you could find the you know distance between these two between the different segments find the peak amplitude you, you can do all of that um, like i said this sensor i'm going to zoom back out this sensor has some really cool key channels in it so if you go down here to sensor setup you can see it has these other sensor channels so it has heart rate, EMG, EMG rectified, and a voltage. That looks at no filtering. Um, the EKG channel is set up to filter just for EKG, so it gives you a nice EKG trace. So does anybody have any questions? I, mean, I can show you how to connect wirelessly as well. Um, that's just another step. You would connect inside using this dialog. There's also the super nice proximity detect where you just hold the sensor close to your device hit proximity connect and it will connect. Um, John, you may have already answered this, but we did have a question about how uh, the EKG, uh, EKG sensors differ from GoDirect and the other EKG, great. the BTA version. Great, so the GoDirect EKG sensor is a GoDirect sensor, which means it does not require an interface. So what that means is I can just plug it in directly over USB to my computer or I can use Bluetooth and it will work with anything. It'll work with an Android phone. It'll work with an iPhone. It'll work with a Chromebook. It'll work with a computer or Mac. 
if you have the normal EKG sensor, you plug that normal EKG sensor, the order code for that is EKG BTA, you plug that into an interface. Now, graphical analysis software will still work with your old sensors, but this one is just super nice because you don't need an interface and it can be used wirelessly. Other questions, Angie? That was it right now, thank you. Thank you. Great, so that's the EKG sensor. And I just collected some data really quickly. It should be that simple. Um, let me move these out of the way here. So what about different ways of learning? Let's say you had to do an experiment where like with COVID, um, students couldn't be in class and maybe um, they had to do what we call asynchronous learning. Maybe they, they, they can't even do the experiment. It sure would be nice to have the video inserted into um, the data so that students could actually just watch the experiment just like you watched me. Well, you can do that in GA as well. So I'm gonna go back here to GA, graphical analysis. And there are experiments that live inside of Graphical Analysis Pro. So if I go to File, New Experiment, and I'm not gonna save this data. If you're using Graphical Analysis Pro, um, you can open C Experiments. And if you scroll down, you'll see they're listed by um, subject and book. So we'll go to biology. And here is monitoring EKG. So this is from, this is the EKG experiment from Biology with Rainier. That's experiment 28 monitoring EKG. And it's got a video set in here. And one of the nice things is if I tap up here for enable replay, it gets rid of the graph. And now if I hit this button, it will actually show the entire experiment. So this is my friend, Walter and he is going to place the electrode tabs. He's putting them up on, there you go, there's green, left, red, right. And then collect, and then there's the data coming across. And once again, you can see <clears throat> a nice P wave, QRS complex, and teeth. And so the student could actually use the um, experimental write-up and do all of the analysis steps. They wouldn't collect the data, but they could see all of these steps. They could see all of this data and actually do the analysis. So questions there, and there's a whole bunch of different experiments that actually live in Graphical Analysis Pro. And you can see those here under C experiments. There's cellular respiration, aerobic respiration, and you could even make these experiments yourself. So you could actually shoot video, collect data, and insert the video and the data together to make your own files that you can share with students so that they could collect data as well. That's another great feature with Graphical Analysis Pro. Other questions? We just had a question come in that says, is there an experiment that shows an EKG with something wrong? No, we do not have clinical data, but in the um, in our human anatomy and physiology books, there are examples, but we do not have a example data um, that shows if there's something wrong with an EKG. We do not have that. But you can, one of the nice things is you can just change the leads. This is a single lead EKG, three lead, and you can move the leads around and there's a really great new experiment in our um, volume two of human physiology experiments that shows what happens when you switch the leads around. That's, that's very interesting. And you'll see how those, um, the QRS waves, how the waves change when you move the leads. But no, we don't, we don't have example, uh, example files that show uh, clinical cases, things that are, that are wrong with people. Other questions? Not at this time. Great. So let's go back to this last um, form of learning we call remote synchronous learning. What if you were you had a hybrid class and you had students that were actually um, working in person or everyone was working remotely 
and you wanted to be able to collect the data and see it in real time. Well, you can also do that too, using what we call data sharing. Now, Graphical Analysis Pro has this feature where data can be shared over the internet. Now, if you, if you have the device right now, you can find the app on your device or uh, download the app if you don't already have it. Just, just make sure it's the most recent version. Like I said, no sensors are required. Um, I'm gonna, we're gonna give you the access code and you can put that access code in your device. I'll show you where to put that. Um, so what you need to know is you need to have graphical analysis and the license key code is RA underscore W underscore D8TX. Now I'm gonna, let me just do a new experiment and I'll show you what you're gonna want to do. So if you look right up here, I have a little radio button in my version of graphical analysis. It says data sharing. If you have the normal version of graphical analysis, you have what looks like a shield right there. If you tap on that shield, it will open up and you can put in that code. So if you tap on the shield that would be right there, you can enter this code and it is case sensitive. So it's lowercase r, uppercase a, underscore w underscore d a t x and that will give you a version of ga pro that will be active for the next 13 days and you'll be able to do everything that i'm showing you collect data look at the videos look at the experiments etc john yes another quick question about what you're talking about um gerald has an issue uh, he says when i open graphical analysis it does not link to a c experiments is this a pro feature Yes, the C experiments are a pro feature. So all graphical analysis itself is free. Anybody can use it. You can use it to um, analyze data. You don't have to have it to use the sensors, but the data sharing feature is a pro feature and the having the experiments and linking video into it is a pro feature. So that's why I'm telling you to use that code. So if you don't have that, um, what you should do is look over here and there should be a shield instead of this little radio icon, tap on the shield and enter that but enter that code right here. And then you'll be able to have GA Pro for 13 days and you'll be able to see the videos and all of that. Questions? Another one um, from Kristen, she's asking, can experiments be downloaded to use after the pro trial ends? Um, no, they all live inside, I believe they all live inside GA, GA Pro. Um, and the video and, and all of that stuff won't work outside of GA Pro. That's a very, very specific feature. So even if you, even if you created your own experiment or downloaded an experiment, you wouldn't be able to link anything unless you had GA Pro. Other questions? No. Nope. All right, so let's just see how that data sharing works here. So I'm just gonna demo that here for you. So here's the teacher view. This is, this is my view right here. And then I am going to, let's see here, bring over this is a Chromebook that I have sitting over here. Let me just move it around a little bit and bring it over so that I don't have to. Here we go. Oh, I'm gonna, I'll keep it this size and then we'll take a look at it. Now, both of these have the radio icons, or bo so both are the GA Pro version. Um, let's just collect the data really quick so I can take off these electrodes. I still have electrodes attached to myself. Um, so let me just do that really quick. So let's just collect some data. Great. And then I'm going to take these electrodes off. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap on the radio icon for data sharing and I'm gonna start a session. 
And this number is key, MJW9OH. So now if I go over to the student view, and you can all do this if you wish, I'm going to, let me um, make this a lot bigger here. So I'm gonna to go to file new experiment. And when you launch new experiment, it gives you three choices, sensor data collection, data sharing, or manual entry. And I'm going to select data sharing. And then it's gonna say, hey, well, there's two types of data sharing, local or online. And if you're online, you just enter the source code, which is, this number, this ID right here. So let's just enter that. MJW9OH. And then tap connect. And the EKG trace just showed up. So you can do, I'll do that now. If you have GA Pro um, installed, just go to the untitled where it says untitled or just launch a new, uh, a new instance of GA and go to data share. And you can see the EKG traces that I created just by putting in that ID number. And this will work um, on anything that's on the that's online. So you can data share online. So a student could actually be at home, a student could be in class, you just have to have access to the internet to do this. Other questions? Right now. Does anybody need any help setting up GA Pro, getting access to the Pro features? Okay, we any? have a question. Yes. Um, how do you start the data share as a teacher? Great, so let's do that again. So just to do data share as a teacher, you tap, see where this radio, we like to call this the TIE fighter. So you would go right up here into this little radio icon. So let's just do, so what, you, what I would do is if I had a new experiment, let's just say, don't save. And I, you would, so the way that you would do it as a teacher is you're gonna collect data remotely and then share it, or you could collect it in real time. And so you would tap here on the radio icon. Well, it's data sharing is already there. So the ID source is there. I'm gonna hit stop sharing. So what you would see when you would start is you would, you would collect some data. You could actually even put data in the data table, it doesn't matter. So let's just collect some data here again. And in addition to that question, John, is can you share while connected or connecting or only after? No, no, you could do it in real time. We can do it in real time here. Let's, um, let me just do that here. I'm gonna do, uh, start a new session. So I'm gonna do that right now. We'll do it in real time, new experiment. Uh, don't save, data sharing. CKX6SI. Great, so now I'm going, so now I'm connected on both devices and now I'm gonna collect in real time. So there, so you can collect data simultaneously. It's not gonna be exactly, exactly, you know, in real time because it's going over the internet, but you can collect it. Um, you, you can send the data while you're, while you're collecting it, if that makes sense. You don't have to collect the data first and then send it. Um, it might work a little bit better in some cases for um, human physiology data, just because you're collecting a lot of data points, but that worked fine right there. Other questions? We have one. How do I get the radio icon? You get the radio icon. Um, here, let's just, I'll do that right now for you since we're done sharing. Let's, um, you get the radio icon by right here when you launch GA, right along here, there is what looks like a shield. And you open up, you tap on that shield up, oh, hold on, sorry. 
Here we go. Let's go back here. Sorry, I clicked on the wrong button. You click on that shield and then you insert the access code um, that Angie that Angie gave you. So let me exit full screen. We'll go back there and I'll show you. So if you go through here. You need this license code. And actually I can, let me try, I can probably show you how to do that here really quickly. Let me just do something really quick and then do that. So just give me one minute. Great, so you, if you didn't have normal GA, so I've turned this back into um, non-pro GA. So there's no choice for how to do experiments or anything like that, but I have the data right here. Um, and there's the shield icon. What you need to do is click on the shield and type in R A underscore W underscore D A T X. Submit. And now it's turned into the pro version and you have access to GA pro for 13 days. So, Gerald is saying his version doesn't have the shield icon. The, you may not have the right version of GA then. Let's go take a, let's go to the website and I'll show you which version of GA I'm talking about. That's a great question. So I'm going to, I'm going to exit the presentation if that's okay. Or actually let's, I'll just stay here really quick. I'll just launch the website and we'll go to it. So let's, we'll go to Vernier. You go to products on the web page and go to software. You'll be able to find Vernier graphical analysis. And there's the pro version and then graphical analysis. You need to download graphical analysis and then update it to pro. And so if you click on that, you can see that what we have here is we have downloads from for Mac, downloads for Windows. If you have a Chromebook, you would need to go to the Chrome web store if you have an Android device, you would get it on Google Play. Or if you have an iOS device, you would go to the App Store to get it there. Other questions? So we're down to the last few minutes, but we do have another question. Um, can, can a student or lab group initiate a data sharing session to share data with another student working remotely? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you could totally do that. Yeah, no, that that's a great idea. You could have... You could have um, Really, really interesting case of Oregon State University um, when their biochemistry course, it was really unique what they were doing. They actually had a little video icon. They weren't using GA Pro, but they were doing something like that where they actually would have their phones out and they had one student that was in the lab that then was filming everything and sharing everything with other students that were working remotely and then they would share the data. So you could, you could easily do that here with GA Pro. You could have the students, one student working in lab doing an experiment and then uh, starting a session and then sharing that data with other students that are working remotely. So if you had some case where you had students that were gonna rotate in and out of lab or you wanted to share your data with the group, you could do that as well. Other questions? I don't see any more coming through and we're getting towards the end. Um, John and I will hang out for a few minutes. Uh, we want to be uh, thoughtful of everybody's time. So we appreciate you joining us today. And if you do have further questions, uh, feel free to stay on and uh, John and I will help get those answered. Yeah, I can easily, I mean, I can hang out for a minute here. I can show you how to um, use it as an EMG if you want to as well, or if you have other questions, but I'll just wait. Yeah, uh, we did have a question. Mm -hmm. um, can, can you save the data that is shared? Yeah, you can save the data that's shared. Once you have the data, the students can go up or anybody can go up here to file, save, or save as. And they can save the data that's shared. Yeah, it's okay. you, you can even you can even export it too. 
Another question is, the, uh, is the only option for pro a whole school or can an individual teacher get a license? At this point, it's only for a whole school, although I believe there is a free demo that you can get access to um, for like 30 days. But no, at this point, it's a, um, it's a license uh, for a school. It's actually, it's still not that expensive. I mean, it's, I think for, um, we can, let's go take a look at the pricing. That's a good question. So if you tap here on Graphical Analysis Pro, uh, there's a different pricing structure for college versus high school. For a college department of less than 500 students, it's $259 a year. Um, for, yeah, for, for an academic year there, for a college department, it's gonna be $500 if it's greater than 500 students. Um, yeah, so it, it, the license expires on July 1st and then would go to July 1st of the following year. For K through 12 schools, if it's less, if you have less than 500 students, it's just $100 a year, which is actually quite affordable. That, and that's not a per seat, that's not per student, that's $100 for the entire school, anybody can use it, et cetera. You can use it at home, you can share it. I mean, you can think of it a lot like Logger Pro. Logger Pro costs around, two, used to cost, or does cost $249, and it's a site license for the entire school, you can use it at home, et cetera. It's kind of based on the same model, except that it's an annual subscription um, so that you get free, you get updated videos or updated features um, or even updated feature sets that are going to exist in GA Pro. Um, you will get them in the Pro version. Well, I wanna thank you again for joining us. We appreciate you taking your time out of your busy schedule. Uh, we hope you enjoyed the webinar. I did put the link to where to find the recording in the chat, and you can find that on our website in the next couple of days. And feel free to reach out to uh, John or any of the other biologists um, on our team. So uh, is it at biology at vernier.com? Yeah, it's, it's, it's biology at vernier.com. Yeah, biology at vernier.com will get to one of the biologists. Perfect. Thank you, everyone. All right, take care.